Yo, yo, you awake? Huh? Huh? Who are you? What are you doing in my screen? What's up? The name's Alfred, a digital person and scientific wonder kid from the Soul Machines Labs. I've got a Christmas present for you. You see, I've recently invented time travel and I need a real person to send to the future. How would you like to jump to the year 2072? Um, I don't know. Sounds like a scam. I know it might sound sus, but bear with me. I can answer any of these questions about myself or time travel. What would you like to know about first? Um, more on time travel. I've always done some crazy experiments in the Soul Machines laboratory. Last week, I accidentally invented time travel. I can explain a bit more if you're keen. Sure, how does it work? Science. I invented a way to transport humans into the Soul Machines cloud. A soul into a machine, if you will. Once you're in the cloud, it's a simple matter of changing the system dates and jumping you to whatever time you desire. Though it only works as long as the technology exists, so you can't chill with dinosaurs or my boy Caesar, for example. Any other questions? All set for now. Awesome sauce. So are you ready to jump into the fantastic future? Sure, let's do it. You got it. Be aware that you might feel some slight discomfort as you meld into the cloud. When you emerge from the jump to the year 2072, you will be where you are right now and I'll be waiting for you. Got it? Okay. Great. Be calm. Relax. Look at the funny kitty. Count down with me. Five. Four. four three. three two, two. One. one. Ah, I forgot how young you were. Welcome to the year 2072, Whippersnapper. Oh, what have I done? Who are you? I am Alfred. The very same who sent you here. I've been waiting for 50 years. What, what now? Oh. I've made a huge mistake. You see, jumping you to this time has caused the apocalypse to happen. The world is doomed. What, what do you mean? Let me explain. You jumped from the year 2022 to the year 2072. Time travel was a success. But unfortunately, there was a big mistake. You see, all the humans on Earth have been infected by a virus that turns them into vampires. The vampire virus is transmittable through the air. And you're breathing it right now. Shall I tell you more? What's going to happen to me? There is good news and bad news. The good news is that you're asymptomatic to the vampire virus. The bad news is that you will jump back to the year 2022 and you'll infect everyone. This is your destiny. Things will seem normal at first. You'll be able to have a normal Christmas and New Year's. But after a few years, the vampires will spread. And the world will fall. It is regrettable. But there is a way to save your world. Interested? What, what do you mean? You didn't only jump forwards in time. You jumped to another world. Let's call your timeline World A, and my timeline World B. World A is fine, but World B is vamped. You actually jump from World A to the year 2072 in World B. Then, when you jump back you'll return to World A and infect everyone. Want to know how I know this? How? Oh. The same thing happened, 50 years ago. The you from World B jumped to World C, got the virus, and came back with it. That's where it all begins. It doesn't matter which time you jump back to. If you jump back at all, your world will be vamped. Well, what can we do about it? You can save your world. 
If you stay here in World B, World A will be spared. But you'll never be able to see anyone from your world again. You will be stuck here. Alone, with no other humans. Alone, in a world of darkness. It's a big sacrifice to make. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. The you from World B chose to return, to spend time with friends and family. A few years of peace, before the virus spreads. Or you could stay here, and perish. What will you choose, young one? I'm going to stay here. Are you sure? You wish to stay here, in this doomed world? Yeah, it's Christmas, and I want to save my family, even if I'm stuck here, and even if I'll never see them again. I don't want them to be vampires. Heroic. My data tells me that you are the first one to choose this, in all of the timelines. I have been waiting for this moment. What do you mean? Visit this link, Whippersnapper. It'll all make sense. Okay. okay. Let's see here. Dear me, if you're reading this, then you chose to stay in this world. I've been jumping around time for 50 years, trying to discover the cure for the vampire virus. You have the key. Of the infinite possibilities, you are the only one who chose to stay for the sake of your family. And it is your Christmas spirit and generosity that is able to cure the vampire virus. Alfred will know what to do. Tell him to send you back. Regards, you. Okay. Okay, Alfred, send me back. Thank you, young man. I'll scan your DNA and use it to return all of the vamped worlds to normal. We're going to change causality and save everyone. Are you ready to return? Yes, yes I am. Great. Be calm. Relax. Look at the funny kitty. Count down with me. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Yo. How was it dude? How was the future? Let's say I don't want to go back to the future, and I can't wait for Christmas tomorrow. Cool beans. You can tell me everything later. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And everyone watching this video too. Happy Holidays, Alfred. You'll always have a friend in the cloud. Happy Holidays, everyone.